You know, when the devil doesn't rule you anymore, you're really free to be happy. And if you're not, boy, check your spiritual thermometer. Praise the Lord. God is good. You know, I grew up with all kinds of complexes. I had a brother that verbally abused me every way you could be verbally abused. And I thought I was nothing. And unfortunately, his life ended with suicide. But I loved him and forgave him before that happened. And I was set free. Amen. And you know what? God can erase all the bad memories of your past and heal your memories. And I am so happy to be free tonight. I found out somewhere along the way that there's nobody like Danny Senegori. When God made me, he threw away the mold. And there was a time when I couldn't think I was anybody. But thank God tonight, I know that I'm free in Jesus. And if you don't have that feeling tonight, I just pray that before this service is over, that you'll feel love. I feel like God has already lifted some burdens in this place. I'm looking at your faces and I'm studying you real well. Guess what? You are studying me too. I can tell. And I want you to know that I'm really a nice guy. It's really funny. We go to all kinds of churches and it's so amazing what we see along the way. I was at a church in Ottawa, Kansas. How many know where that is? It's about halfway between here and, not quite halfway, but between here and uh, Wichita. And I have a dear pastor friend, and he always goes together with another church, and so he brings two churches together to help the crowd, and it's always a wonderful time. Well, this particular time I was there last, he went with another church, and I won't tell you where it was or the name of it, but I had never met the pastor whose church we were using. But the, he was happy to show me this beautiful grand piano that he wanted me to play. So I got to the church, and the pastor greeted me at the door, a real country gentleman. I'm being kind. With his dog. So when I saw the dog in the church, I said, Oh, we've got a spiritual dog here tonight. And he said, This dog ain't missed to service since I've been to pasture. Yet. <laughs> said, Praise the Lord. So I said, You're going to love our Piana. It's a black ebony grand. And he took me into the church, and it was about as bad as the one I played in Fort Worth. The only thing it was brand new looking, but sounded horrible. But we were having church, and then we were just getting ready to set up, and another brother walks in, and he's got a chihuahua wrapped in a blanket under his arm. And I looked up and I said, I feel like I'm at the first church of the dogs tonight. <laughs> Very interesting what you find along the way, but it's been a great journey. And you know, the church is not meant to be a memorial for the saints. I'm not talking about just the building. I'm talking about the group of people. That's the church. It's, just, it's not, it's to be a hospital for the sinner, not a memorial for the saints. We had a wonderful black church in Peoria, Illinois that had that sign that said that right outside of the church. And boy, I'll tell you, we had church in that building. <laughs> Praise the Lord. I want you to stand with me. You know, I just feel God's presence here tonight. And I love to worship the Lord. You know, uh, a lot of people that do what I do, uh, they, don't, they don't emphasize worship. They say, well, you've got songs that are sermons, and I know that. Some songs truly are sermons. And uh, I'm not just a worship leader. I'm a minister of the gospel. I've been a pastor four times. And, uh, but I'm a worshiper first. God created all of us to worship something. And if it's not him, it's going to be something else that has a hold of you. But if you love Jesus, then you should be able to worship him tonight. The Bible says in spirit and in truth. There's a wonderful chorus that a friend of mine wrote. It says, surely the presence
brightness of the stars in magnitude.
Would you reach out and touch the hem of his garment tonight and say, you touched me. impossible to please God and then I love the passage of scripture that says faith comes by hearing. you think that means once I think it means over and over and over and over again hearing hearing and hearing and hearing the word of God that's how we grow in grace you know I have a problem with people that don't believe in going to church the scripture says not to forsake yourself from assembling yourself of other believers and I, I know people that the television is their church. Well, if you call the television evangelist, he's not going to come visit you when you're sick in the hospital. I guarantee you that. But the local pastor does. And I, I have been a pastor as well as an evangelist. So I'm, I'm, I'm here to lift the pastors up. We all need a shepherd. Amen. And so, you see, uh, but anyway... Uh, I, I, I love songs about faith and I wrote a song for a pastor who was a good friend of mine who was faithful I found his life and his ministry to be faithful over a long many years and so I wrote this song for him and my wife and I recorded this song on an album of ours and I'll tell you about our albums in just a few moments but I want to sing it and I want you to help us sing I'm going to bring my beautiful wife into the service by way of technology and she's going to sing this song with me it simply says, we've come this far by faith. How many have been serving the Lord for a few years? It's your song. God, we've come this far by faith. Thank you. 
fade out ending in the record industry. <laughs> when I was a kid growing up, my testimony is such that my mother, after having seven children, at 44 she was pregnant again, and the doctors didn't say she was pregnant, they said it was a tumor. You guessed it, nine months later I was born. <laughs> Eight pounds and 15 ounces, that's a big tumor. And God was so good because there was a number of events that could have changed all that had they done surgery. Either I would have died, she could have died, or the both of us could have died, but God had a plan. You know what it says in Jeremiah, the first chapter? That God knew us while we were in our mother's womb. And he had a plan for our life from that moment of conception. That's why abortion is such a terrible sin. And that's why it's murder. Because God has a plan from the time of conception. And they're all good plans for our life. He creates us for his purpose and his destiny. Our destiny should be his plan. And when we tap into that, that source and, and, the, and the Holy Spirit... Then we walk in that destiny and we become fulfilled to be everything God wants us to be. Ooh, hallelujah. I'm preaching myself happy tonight. <laughs> Glory to God. And so uh, I was what they called the late blessing in life. And my sisters, whenever they heard me practicing on the piano or the accordion, they'd say, oh, the musical tumors playing again. And he's malignant. He keeps growing. <laughs> Well, you know, from those early days, it's amazing what God can do with your life. A bashful kid that had so many complexes. The Lord has taken me to Italy five times and we've shared the gospel in Italy and seen many people come to Jesus. I think they kind of see me as a son come home or something like that. And the reception was just overwhelming. Now, I'm 70 years old and I'm praying that the Lord will allow me to go back one more time to minister in Italy. So I'd like to know that you people will partner with me in praying that, that God will let that be so. And you know, it's, it's expensive to travel, but God can provide. He does it and He does it all the time. And so I'm going to just take a moment and tell you that we've got four CDs with us at, in the service tonight. Uh, the two vocal ones are An Evening with Danny and Orchestra. That's the... Uh, Bob Hope picture. <laughs> anyway, uh, it's got a lot of wonderful songs. Two that I've written on here at any moment, Our Lord Will Come Again, and one called Everlasting Joy. I wrote both of those, and the song I just sang, My Soul Shall Escape, which is from Nancy Harmon, and that's on there. And then uh, this is called Side by Side, and uh, Chris sings with me on this. It looks like we're jitterbugging right there, but... <laughs> She does a beautiful song. It's her signature song. It says, I love to praise him. It's an old spiritual. And then um, we've come this far by faith that no weapon formed against us shall prosper. Just a lot of great songs, a lot of variety. I might just do one from this album. I'll take one of our duets and I'll sing it by myself. Is that all right? Yes. It'd, be, it'd be really a miracle if I could sing in harmony with myself. <laughs> I'd be doing really something so spectacular. Anyway, that's that one. And then we have two musical albums. They're all instrumental, all piano. This was done on a nine-foot Baldwin concert grant. It's called Inspirational Moments. It's like hymns, psalms, and spiritual songs. It's like a dinner music album. Jesus, there's something about that name. Change my heart, oh God, how majestic is your name. And many, many, many more. Then this one, I love the old hymns of the church. And I, I'm, I'm a crusader for the hymns. I like all the new praise songs, but I love those old hymns. Because you know why? They contain doctrine. And, uh, and we need to hear that doctrine. We need to know that we're in the faith. And so I did 18 of some of my favorites, like uh, Savior Like a Shepherd Lead Us, uh, Amazing Grace, Just a Closer Walk with Thee, Dwelling in Beulah Land, Oh Say But I'm Glad, No One Ever Cared for Me Like Jesus, Oh, just the list just goes on. But this was done on the nine foot Steinway Baldwin, or Steinway Grand. You can't be a Steinway and a Baldwin together. Anyway, so these are $15 each, and we have specials back there. So two for 25 and let's see, what was the, what was all the four, Brother David? Four for 50. There you go. Four for 50. <laughs> so be it. And that's the end of the commercials. Well, can I go to his ministry, by the way? Can I play for you a song? This is a song we used to sing on Sunday nights in my home church. And when they really got happy in the Lord, those Italian Pentecostals, they would sing, I'm dwelling in Beulah Land. I don't suppose there's a person in this room tonight that knows this song. Oh, it's a great old hymn. 
Far away the noise of earth upon my ear is falling. It says, I'm living on the mountain underneath the cloudless sky. I'm drinking from the fountain that never shall run dry. How many know that Jesus is the fountain for the thirsty and the hungry? He's the water that you drink and you never thirst again. Hallelujah. And so that's what this song really is all about. So it's kind of a fun song. It's kind of like a syncopation, syncopated rhythm. And so what I'm going to do is, all we got is a bass playing with us here. I'm just going to push that and run right to the piano so I can do it. All right? I hope you like it. sing is this one and and you might have grown up singing this one too but we took it to the more soul style and I love this song I love this old hymn
till the crown I came, yeah, 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 yeah. He brought me out of my dream. Lady, 